every camera that's in the market today. If we say it's compatible, it's not just because it should be compatible. They go through, I mean, unbelievable numbers, I mean, of different test iterations. Today, you're doing 4K, 8K, I mean, there's cameras doing 16K. It's a whole different world. The amount of testing that has to go in so that you don't have a surprise and, and lose a moment you're never gonna get back you know, is, is pretty intense. lot that goes into making sure everything is perfect and you know, some of the stuff we do ends up being for the benefit for lack of anything else I and mean, for the benefit of our, our competition but i guess i'll say two things i mean when it comes to data i mean we don't want to see anybody lose data anytime anywhere if you know we can help uh, prevent that and the other piece would be even like camera cars i mean a decade ago i mean stuff has gotten a lot more complex as things have gotten faster as mm -hmm. and as we have these different processors, you know, with with Apple, I mean, is, is that uh, is that hardware and that technology has evolved? Things don't work. I mean, back in the day, like I said, you had your drive got stuck. You, you know, put it in the freezer, give it a tap, and amazing, it you know came back. Today, it's you know you, you don't just plug things in and mm -hmm. and away they go. I mean, SCSI drive was a drive and a, and a, effectively a, a power supply and then a cable that you now went to it. Had to terminate the bus, but you know, it was by today's standards, it was really simple technology to interface with and the amount of testing even on ssds ss we want to talk about how ssds work but you know on a camera card you know we literally have we have pretty much every camera that's in the market today if we say it's compatible it's not just because it should be compatible it's because we mm -hmm. actually have these cameras and they go through i mean unbelievable numbers i mean of different test iterations in every mode in every capture state, you know, from beginning to end on a camera card to make sure we've uncovered a lot of, how do you say, uh, a lot of bugs out there with you know, some of the, the base stuff. I mean, we ultimately make a lot of changes and a lot of well, enhancements. Would, enhancement would be the right word to what becomes the, the final release firmware. When we looked at camera cards a decade ago, and we didn't get into it at that point, we got into the camera cards about, yes, it's now been about four years that we started down the, the camera card path. But it was easy. I mean, you put, we, we did SSDs. You put, you know, flash on a, you know, with a controller into a, a really small package, and it, it pretty much worked everywhere for the for the most part. And that was because of the speed of cameras. Today, you're doing 4K, 8K. I mean, there's cameras doing 16K. I forget what the the new Black Magic yeah. does. It's mm -hmm. it's a whole different world, and the amount of testing that has to go in so that you don't lose a frame, that you don't have a card fail, that you don't have. You know, a surprise and, and lose a moment you're never going to get back.